Happy Monday, everybody. Sorry, we're um, just a little, running a little late today. Normally, I like to do this just a little bit earlier, but it's Monday after Christmas. Oh. Now the new year. So now we, that's right, we'll now have, the new year. we will have Friday to be able to look forward to, to be able to have some, some additional time off to be able to rest. So, hey Pam, hey Linda, hey Rudy, hey everybody. So, um, Linda Rudy, sorry. So, I wanted to invite someone that's very special to be with me today to be able to share um, about our new stencil that we are launching and going over today. And, you know, but I'm, and I'm also gonna show you a technique um, of rescuing, I'm gonna let you hold that for just a second. Gladly. I'm gonna show you how to take an old frame that with a glass in it, I love going to Habitat or Restore or an antique mall and buying picture frames Usually, I think my best buy that I've ever gotten is usually at Restore mm -hmm. or Goodwill because I'll buy a whole lot of them when I'll start doing a project like that and I'll make an offer. So as a rule, I can get these for like a dollar or two dollars and I take the ugly picture out. All that go. you want when you want to do this is you, all you want is the frame and the glass. So that way we, you can do projects like this. You can kind of, I have to do this. This is the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So that way, you've got this to be able to do your project on. Mm -hmm. So Angela's saying she loves Restore too. Have you ever, you've been to Restore? I have. We love Restore too. Okay, so I'm gonna be showing you how to use this new stencil with the ceramic paints. Um, you can actually also use the inks on glass because if you're, if you're making something that's gonna be a piece of art, just FYI. But we're also gonna show Leah how to be able to use the inks and doing some watercolor effects on some stationery like this. That is gonna be really cool. Is the that cool? fun just doesn't stop. <laughs> Every time I think I know what all we do here, it's something else that I do not know how to do and mm. it's so exciting. Mm. It's forever growing. So, yes. but here is, here's the reason why, mm -hmm. if I can get through this without crying. Um, this is why I invited Leah here today to be able to visit with me. And um, Lori Davis finally got her packages. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, you don't, you don't know. USPS. Ooh. Sorry, you are not my best friend anymore. Do I we play the best? I play the best. <laughs> FedEx, our friend. People are like, it has oh, been a yes. very trying season that it called for extra grace. That's right. To Praise be given to us right, or extended to someone else. That's right. <laughs> we had to practice what we was preaching. Oh, I'm telling you. Um, That's good, though. All right. So, mm -hmm. hey, Angela. Hey, Lori. Hey, everybody. Thanks so much. All right. So, this is the new stencil, guys, that we are introducing today. And it is I am who I say I am. So, Leanne, just kind of share with everybody... Mm -hmm. What, what does, what does this mean to you? And so I'm going to be quiet for a minute. Yeah, no, no. So first of all, I think it's really important to understand kind of where I come from. And so with that, I'm going to share a little piece of my story with you all. As you know, Miss Amy not only has a heart to rescue and restore old furniture and, and create beauty out of something that normally people would throw away. Well, she kind of had a heart for me in the same way and at the same time that the Lord chose to pull me out of a life of drug addiction, abuse, um, human trafficking, I found a place here to work with Amy while living in a safe house. I was uprooted from my old life and day one of that being uprooted, I was given the full gospel of Jesus Christ for the first time and I really heard uh, the bottom line was that if you will confess your sins I'm faithful and just to forgive you of your sins and to purify you from all unrighteousness not some not some and for the first time I heard all of the gospel and I heard all of the truth because I was raised to not believe in grace I was raised to believe that there's power in the name of Jesus, but yet he will put you in hell. Why do you think, mm -hmm. 
and I don't want to stop your, your thought process. No, it's okay. Why do you think you're not taught? Why, why do you think people are um, oh, using Amy. that, but they don't want to use the grace part? Oh, no, for people perish of the lack of knowledge. That's also in the Word of God. Only the Holy Spirit and only the Lord can reveal these things to our people. And as much as my grandmother and my mother loved the Lord and prayed and, and spoke in tongues and went to church when I was a child, they did not teach me about grace. And I'm not saying that they didn't know or that it was forgotten or tradition over the years, uh, but sin crept into my family when I was very young and it destroyed um, my parents' marriage, my grandmother's life as her um, husband had done some very ungodly and unforgiving things to me. And so we all just kind of found ourselves trying to struggle to survive. Uh, in having a family, you know, it's, it's really a unit. And, and if you don't have God um, directing and guiding that family unit's decisions, before you know it, you live a life of sin and trying to keep something together for one another. Mm -hmm. And so that led mm -hmm. me into a life of crime and my family really fighting to believe that we had a right to be here together because it was it just become a mess and that's what happens when we don't know who God is. See, I did not know that the Lord was a all-forgiving God and that he was very present. I thought that he was really far away and and that he couldn't see all. And with that said, because I didn't understand who he was. I did not know who I was. I did not know enough about the Word of God to know who He says I am. And I sure did not have the foundation to stand on it, even when I heard it. So it took a very long time, and it did not happen all at once. But the Lord chased me down. He chased me down like the hound of heaven, and He would not give up on me. And it was just, it was a process. It was a long journey. And it was a lot of people telling me who I was and believing for me until I could believe for myself and telling me the truth to replace the lies in my mind and in my heart that even to this day I struggle and fight against. I honestly, and this is the truth, I was really grateful to hear about this stencil. Didn't know we had this one. And I was thinking to myself, God says I am that I am and I am, I am's I don't know that unless you tell me. You have to either hear it from the Lord and His Holy Spirit or someone who loves you and cares enough for you that knows the Lord has to share with you. And that's why the Word of God says, for we are saved by, by hearing. Grace and faith come by hearing the Word of God. And so for me, in my addiction and in the streets, I won't lie, I read the Bible. I carried the Bible with me uh, in and out of my job around with me everywhere I went and yet I couldn't hear what I was reading in my heart because my heart was not prepared for the truth yet but God is faithful so my main thing you know you asked me if there's one thing my main thing would be that if you do not know who Jesus is and you do not have that I am in your spirit of saying you know what I am loved I am a child of God. I am a royal priesthood. I am forgiven. If you don't know that, like if you can't say it to someone else, say, you know what? I am a child of God or I am forgiven. Then I am going to ask you to pray today and ask God to show you who he is. And you can do it really simple by saying, Lord, they said today that you are I am. And I am not certain of that. Help me know that I am yours. Let me know that I am saved and come into my heart. Just say I have sinned. And what's amazing is I'm so serious. I loved that she used this picture frame because that is kind of what happened to me. I showed it's up. It's been rescued. I showed up with my frame. It had an ugly picture. I'm telling you right now, you guys, I do not have words to express the true depth of darkness. I'll give you some details. 20 years of a needle addiction that started at 13, as my eldest sibling introduced me as a very young teenager to meth and drugs. 
and then soon my life was in a whirlwind and I had no understanding of what life was, nor did I have any hope. I thought I would always be a criminal and a drug addicted prostitute. And I sit here with a little over two years of the Lord's love in my life that has changed my entire frame. I walk different. I talk different. I think different. I eat. I love food that I never even knew existed because God has given me a whole new life. So, if you see someone walking down the street whose frame isn't right and who has an ugly picture on their face and their life is an ugly picture, just know that it takes somebody who cares enough to pick them up, take out that ugly picture, restore their frame, paint something beautiful into their mind, which is the truth. Nobody, nobody can tell you the truth but Jesus. And so, if, if you will be a vessel, those of you who know the Lord, and share who you are in Christ with them, which is what we're doing today, I promise you, you're gonna see a whole different picture the next time you see that person. It's amazing. It's mind blowing actually what happens. It really is. You know, if you can't tell by listening to Leah talk, she's, she's anointed and but she has a story, and every, all of us have a story. And I think it's so, it's powerful, it's so encouraging to be able to talk about how God rescues and restores and redecorates. Mm -hmm. But to see, I remember the day two years ago, two, well no, it's been longer than that. Longer than that. Two, two, four months? Mm -hmm when Leah came in here for the first time to make things and to craft and how she was talking about how two years was a long time and she just didn't know how she was gonna make it. Mm -hmm. But it, you have to be taken out of what it is that you're doing in mm -hmm. order for the Lord to really restore the broken parts of you and for him to be able to reveal to you what's got to be worked on. Yes. For sure. You know, the main thing for me is that everything was right the opposite of the truth in my life. I had to watch others live the truth, speak the truth, and be the truth in front of me. And then not only do all that, but then say, Leah, you can do it too. Because you are a child of God. If I am, I ams, and I said this prayer, it can be yours as well. No matter what you've done, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And it blew my mind whenever slowly the Lord began to really show me that I could do good things with my hands and I could think godly thoughts and, and have a consistent um, routine and show up and have a nine to five job. And just the simple things. When, when the enemy takes your life over as he did mine, at such a young age and you find yourself mm -hmm. trafficked mm -hmm. and taken from your home mm -hmm. and on those drugs, mm -hmm. you don't know any other life. That's your normal. And your hope has been taken away. You don't even know to have hope for something different. You don't know there's anything different attainable for you. You see other, other people living it, wearing it, speaking it. And you look at them almost as if it's to you, you're living in a whole different realm, a whole different world, and it's right there, and you can see that world, and you can see the success and the cleanliness of other people and their lifestyle and, and their families and their successes, and you just kind of look at them and think, hmm, I wonder where they come from. But not me. No. It's too far away. You know, the other thing, um, as we were listening, there's a song earlier as far as singing... Um, out of, and it's pulled out of John 8 as far as mm -hmm. I am who you yes, say I, I am. am. I think this is just really encouraging just to remember on a daily basis. Who this, I am. Yes. Like when we start having, we talk a lot about stinking thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Um, yes. That, that th to be able to read this, this is what we talk about um, we want you to be able to have things in your home 
um, whether it's a chalkboard, whether it's um, a picture like this, what a t-shirt, something that is a constant reminder yes. of encouragement of using um, scripture and God's word. And so while we love a lot of things, we, we have stencils on how much we love coffee. We were talking about this morning. I just had the best cup of coffee I've ever had in my entire life this morning. And Leah was like, oh, don't go talking to me about coffee. But we love coffee. I mean, all that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and friendships and joy and, and ho- all that kind of stuff. But the, to have something that's this powerful as I am who you say I am. Um, I couldn't do this without having Leah come on and just kind of talk about what it means to her. So now we're going to show you how to be able to rescue um, a frame that you can get at Goodwill. We're going to turn this down. So here's the deal. Um, we normally, when we do a, a Facebook Live like this, we say, if you will share this video, how more than ever the opportunity to be able to share this video and um, let someone hear Leah's story that just might be able to encourage them. I'm going to tell you, I, I, in leading different Bible studies and, and talking with different women, I am, I am shocked at how many people that you think are normal families that have daughters that get off into human trafficking. Mm-hmm. People would be shocked. And it normally starts with someone that is introducing um, them to drugs. Right. And then that is the way for them to say, okay, you know, mm-hmm. you owe me, like pay, pay up kind of thing on the drugs. Mm. Um, so many, so many ways yes. to get caught in traffic. Yes. The amazing part is, like for myself, I didn't even know that I was being trafficked. I thought to be caught in sex trafficking, you had to be gagged and blindfolded and taken you know, to another country, which um, part of my story does involve uh, being taken against my will. But the truth of the matter is, is that my um, kidnapping started with my mind. And I was programmed very, very young as a child to uh, not know my worth and to believe that to give something away that's why it's important mm-hmm. with with women. Yes, we There's have to still know who we so are. many guys. Would y'all not agree that there are still so many women that do not realize their worth? They still struggle with their worth, whether that came from when they were um, little girls. Maybe, unfortunately, maybe it's in a marriage. Yeah. That. Um, the enemy attacks in so many ways because oh, totally, he's alive. Totally, and what we're <laughs> what we we really want to be able to hit home with here is mm-hmm. realizing and being strong and sitting up straight. And that's yes. why you were talking about how you walk and how you talk and your countenance and that confidence of knowing I am who you say I am, and yes. you can go to the bank with it. And then tell somebody else who they are. That's right. And what God can do. If you want to get excited. That's right. Yes. It is so exciting. All right. So thank you. When you Mm -hmm. share this video, tag three friends, share this video, your name will go in for a drawing. And then day after tomorrow, we will be drawing this stencil and we'll be mailing it and giving it to the person for free that wins it. And it just allows us to be able to get Leah's story out here and, um, and also this mission of being able to share um, with other ladies and men for that matter as far as really knowing um, and understanding their worth and who they are. John 8, um, John chapter 8 is a great um, chapter to go to to be able to read this and just kind of it resonate on. Um, Hillsong actually also has a really good song on this. Oh, don't get me to sing You could listen. I almost thought, well, I'll bring my laptop up here and we'll listen yes, to it. Yes, who the sun sets free is free indeed. Mm, that's fabulous. Yeah. All right, so we're going to turn this down. So as, if you have questions while we are working on this, um, we will be definitely answering them um, later and as we go. So I'm going to turn this down for just a second because I want to show you what it is that I'm going to be showing Leah. So this is a rescued frame. Mm-hmm. So I painted the outside of it with the um, One Step Paint by Amy Howard. You can just take the back off. You can see how it, you can use this. We go to Restore. You can get them for like a dollar or two dollars and just leave the glass in it. Uh, take the old ugly picture frame out and actually don't even put the back on it. You can hang this on a wall. You can put a ribbon up here. You can hang it in a gallery setting with other pictures. 
And so this is the stencil that we're introducing today that we will um, be showing you. And so this is also comes in a little pack like this that you want to keep this because you want to store your stencil in it. And then if you haven't worked with these stencils before, they have an adhesive back. So I'm just going to remove the back from it. I can slowly get my, but surely. slowly but surely. I've got my glasses on, so I should be able to see it. <laughs> oh, come on. All right. And so tell me this, how many uses can we get out of this guy? Quite a few. Yes, and a lot yes, of it is yes. gonna depend on how well we take care of it. Right. Um, oh. As far as not getting fibers in it. Now, I'm gonna do a couple of things here. I wanna mm -hmm. set, this, the cool thing about it is it's repositionable. So you can lift it and lay it back down. So I'm gonna lay this side down. I like the idea of having it all the way over here. Now, I'm gonna have to stand up for a minute because I wanna be able to see what it is that I'm doing. It's hard for me to kind of sit down and make sure. I'll stand with you. But I am thinking, I am thinking that I may move this over. I'm gonna play it by ear and see. So, this is a little bit further at the bottom, so I'm gonna move this over. Line it up that way. Now, see how there's bubbles in here like this? You can lift this up, and you can take one of our spreaders, like this, and that's what you mean by burnish and burnishing it. Burnish. Mm -hmm. okay. So to get it to just kind of lay down. Now, if there's a bubble, if there's a bubble around my letters, I, I want to make sure that I get that out because what can happen is that that will act as a funnel. Right. And if somebody is using... Um, one of the products, whether it's ceramic paint or whether it's ink or whatever, it'll kind of have a tendency to get under there and it'll act as a funnel. Now, if there's a bubble in other areas like this that's not in the mesh that's actually exposed, I'm not worried about it. Okay. So I'm just gonna take this. So you can- oh, you can literally see those coming out. Oh yeah. So you do wanna just kind of burnish it. Now, this is gonna be a piece of art. So, I don't have to, um, I don't have to use the Rescue Restore paint. I don't have to use ceramic paint if I don't want to. I can use chalk art on this. I can use um, ink, because it's gonna be hanging as a picture. Does that make sense? Yes. So, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna put just a little bit of, let me see, that is actually, well, I'm going to do some black ink. Now, I'm going to add this on. I'm going to do this really quickly, and then I'm going to show you how to do a card where we're going to actually watercolor it. If you want to show the people at home that are watching this, grab the one that we did on the glass earlier mm -hmm. just to be able to show them how we took. Is this not beautiful? Look at that. So you can, let's show on the other side where we just did the black. So you see it's almost like you could be like watercolor. Mm -hmm. And so how I was coming back in and doing this, this is, look at the detail on it. You see that this stencil has so much detail. And Michelle was working on this earlier and so did a beautiful great. job in blending red and white and green. And there again, this is, um, it's okay if you're working on something that you wanna be able to have the restored glass like this, because I'm not gonna be using it. It's a piece of art. You can use ink or you can use chalk art or you can use ceramic paint. You are not limited by mediums, are you? No, not like this because I'm not gonna be setting things on top of it. Now, if I was gonna be setting something on top of it or whatever, I would definitely go with the ceramic paint. All right, okay. we've got our Tupperware. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna take this 
and just kind of pull this up at a 45 degree angle like this. Oh, that makes my heart so full. That's, yes. <laughs> okay, can you see this? Isn't that fab? Now, I'm just gonna say something. I love that. Do you love that? Uh, yes. I mean, are you sending it home with me or not? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, can y'all see that? Oh, I'm seeing the reflection of the ring in there. So let me hold that up so that way you can see it. Isn't that fab? Can I get you to hold yep. that for me for just a sure. second? Hold that stencil. Got it. So that way, isn't that yum? Guys, look at that. Isn't that yummy? Are you smiling yet? <laughs> get to smiling already. You are who we say you are. Isn't Love that, that beautiful? Okay, now. All right, okay. so let's do this. Let's get our, I'm going to set that off to the side. Yeah, I'm loving that. Yes. All right, so we're going to take our water. Let's put this down here. All right, so I'm just going to lay the side of the stencil. I've got my ink. And I'm just going to rinse off the top of it. Now, remember, it the ink won't, the, the ceramic paint will, certain mediums will have a tendency to stain the mesh. But, guys, that's okay now, all right, I'm going to let you take that aside. Now, if you can hand me that rag. I'm just going to lay this with the ad adhesive side up. Uh, we do want to make sure that you're not laying it down in the fibers as much. You can pat it, but I like for you to allow some time just to kind of let it air dry if you can. I'm going to... I'm gonna pat this just a little bit. Now, I'm actually gonna put this back on my paper like this. And then I'm gonna cut it. Because I love what this border allows me to do. Mm -hmm. So we'll set that over there. easier to work with with it being smaller. Yes, and I can place it. Now let's take this. That way everybody can see what we did. And we're gonna I'm going to lay this up here. There again, remember, take your take your stencil. Mm -hmm. Let me see. If we got another mm -hmm. spreader. Here's one. So as you're just kind of laying this down, if you want, you can take the spreader that we have and just kind of spread it like this. That way, we will continue on, when we're finished with it, we'll lift this up and then we'll continue it on down here. But what I would like to do is I wanna go on and do this in black ink because then we're gonna color it. Okay, now as soon as I said that, I just thought of something. Okay. I'm wondering, yes. Okay, so uh -oh, we're gonna do we're gray. To something. Yes, we're gonna do gray. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to put a little bit of this. Um, the name of this one is Hold Your Horses. I'm going to squirt just a little bit of that out. And I'm spreading it. I made sure that it was burnished really well. That's Theo. When I do these lives, I'm like, please, Theo, don't, don't bark. He's our guard dog. Zoll. He's our guard dog. He's a sweetie pie. He is the best. All right, so I am, I am pushing this ink through this mesh. I'm wanting to make sure that I don't get too much on here. A lot of times when I when I hear people having issues with the with the product and getting it through and having having it bleed and stuff, usually the stencil's wet. Secondly, they're using too much product. If you burnish it down good, it's only going to get to where we want it to be. If we don't burnish it a lot of times like that, you'll have a tendency to have kind of seepage. Right. So you see if you need to, to even burnish it with that spreader can help. This is gonna be so beautiful. It is, mm -hmm. I agree. Thank so, you for a new picture. 
I will. I'll let you take this home. Put it in <laughs> your house. Be, I was just You'd kidding. Be able, no, I think yeah. it would be great. Okay. I won't fight you. Okay. Okay. So, you might want to get that spot right there. Get up. I've got a holiday. Yep. Awesome. Good job. Mm -hmm. Is there any place else? No, okay. You're being my eyes. Is there anywhere else? No. Okay. Okay. A lot of times, too, you can take the spreader and just kind of pick up the side if you need to lift it. Thou art loosed. Let loose. Oh my goodness. I am loving I am the gray. I am. I am are you loving the gray? I do, with the frame especially. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm loving that. So then I can come right back down here. I'll need to let this dry just a minute. And then I'll lay this down and burnish it and then continue that band all the way down. Do you love that? I do. Gosh, okay, I'm gonna give that to you. Okay. And I'm gonna go on and let you wash that. Let me turn this around. So that way, th those of you at home. So guys, are you loving the fact that we're able to take a frame that nobody wanted? <laughs> that nobody wanted. I had wanted. to pop back in over here. Nobody wanted Nobody it. wanted. <laughs> they had thrown it away. <laughs> now I'm taking it home. And so we're able to use this. Now, I'm, we're going to show you how you can come back in and you can literally hand color the glass Wait. from this design that we've got there. Can you see that? Isn't that fab? Look at that. I am loving this. I am loving this. I, mean, I, love, I love having a surface that that way I took the old ugly picture out of and now we're doing something really really unusual so so fun okay so now this was a vase that we had done earlier this is the same same stencil can you see that just done in the black and what happens it looks like a coloring book mm -hmm. it was so funny I have to tell on her before we went live and I, I told oh, her I was saw, like all man, you're gonna I do we is you're, gonna, you're gonna like watercolor and she was like Oh, I can do that. <laughs> Anybody can watercolor. So I was we're so wanting relieved. To... And then she's like, no, you're going to give your testimony. <laughs> so um, so we're just going to be able to share. That, that was yes. what we started with in doing the black. And I'm... isn't that beautiful? It's gorgeous. All right. So now we're going to show you, we're going to turn this down and we did, we want to be able to show you, we do have, um, set, uh, we have note cards and envelopes and things that you can use as surfaces to be able to make your own stationery. And this was done with the same stencil that we just did. And we're going to show you how you can come back in and use the inks and watercolor. The detail in that really Look blows my mind. Look at the detail in that. Isn't that fab? Do you love it? So it literally is like watercolor. So we want to be able to show you that I can watercolor. That you can watercolor. <laughs> okay, all right, so Aww. let's turn this down for just a second. I'm gonna show Leah. So guys, thanks so much for watching us today. We are excited. One, if you're just now popping on, you need to go back and do hashtag replay and listen to Leah's testimony. It will encourage you. And if you um, share this video and tag three friends, your name will go in for a drawing. Well, we're going to be giving this stencil away the day after tomorrow. All right, so the first thing we did, we just used the black ink. That created the outline with the stencil. Now, Leah, this is something that we normally do. We'll use um, just glass coasters. Right. And these act as basically your um, palette to be able to mix colors. All right, so we've got three colors. Hey, y'all, if the creek don't rise, yes, we named these, we're Southern. <laughs> and pretty as a picture. You've got these, This I love these two colors. Is that I love funny? their names, <laughs> yes, it's all funny. It's, it's good. Okay. All right, so we're gonna squirt out just a little bit of 
Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. And again, these are our inks. You can use the inks on paper. We're gonna squirt out a little bit if the creek don't rise here. We're gonna watercolor if the creek don't rise. That's right. And then we're gonna do a little bit of pretty as a picture. So, you can take a little bit of water. I've got just a little bit of water here and I'm just gonna do a dot. Sometimes too, I work on um, paper plates. Yes. yes, I use a paper plate okay. as a palette. So I'm gonna take just a little yeah. bit of water and then I'll take a little bit of this right here. And what I want you to do is learning, it's literally like mixing watercolors. So you don't wanna use it straight because you won't get the sheerness from it. So take a little bit of that water. I'm gonna show you first and then I'm gonna let you do it. Okay. So I'm rolling my brush around just a little bit because I want to get it fairly sheer. I don't want it to be too thick. The consistency is changing pretty quick. Too. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure I don't have anything here either. All right, so I'm just going to come back on my paper. Now guys, this was something that we just made a few minutes ago. All we did is we took the stencil and laid it down with the black ink and now you're able to come back and give this gorgeous watercolor effect to your note cards, your stationery, or maybe you're gonna be working on some watercolor paper that you can create a piece of art. Isn't that fun? I had no idea we had, you know, we could do <laughs> you this. You didn't know you could do this? this? No. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is fast. I told you I learned something every five minutes here. Okay, okay. all right. So now, if, um, actually that's not shadow, so you can come back in, just I'll show you one more thing. You can come back in if you wanna make it just a little bit thicker. You could add, take a little black too if you wanna be able to add to that and then kinda of come around. Add a little dimension to it. Yep. Like that. Very beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so let me clean this out for you. And definitely therapeutic. Definitely. Definitely. We just need some music. Yes. All right, so take your... So now do I need fresh water to come over here with this? Or Look, I'll just get a little bit of this water. Yeah, you can. Let me give you a little dot, just in case. So guys, as you, as you pop on, we are working with a brand new stencil that we are introducing today is um, I am who you say I am, and we've actually used it on a rescued frame. You'll have to go back and watch the whole thing. It's pretty fab. And we are allowing it to dry, but you can come back and use this on glass. We just restored this old frame, and you can literally do watercolor on glass. Okay. You can also do watercolor on paper because you can use the same stencil on paper. And so I'm just showing Leah how, how simple and easy it is and somewhat therapeutic. Can yes. you see just doing this? I really can. You can't mess now, it up. Now, do I want to try to avoid this black, you think? No, to help not at all. With no. no, just, just go over it. And it's, okay. you can if you want to. Um, okay. you, you can. You can make it more pronounced on some. You can cover it up on others. I'll tell you what, I will say a little bit of this went a really long way. For this, that whole petal was like, oh, yeah. It was done with just a little bit. Totally. I really do like this, actually. So pretty. Yeah, it would make a beautiful piece of art. Here's one, now this one we're doing fairly sheer. Here was one that we did earlier that you can literally come, here was what we did with our stencil, just in black, so that way it's the area so you can color, and then just come back in and take your, this was done with ceramic paints, and blend them, mm. so that way you can make it look literally like painted glass, so almost more, like stained glass. The more water I have, the, the more, more sheer, sheer it will be. Correct. Right, okay, so, I love it. We'll just continue on being able to do this project. But we yes. thought, we wanted to show you the versatility. One, because we are loving um, the the roses, the border that, that it does. And I'm gonna go on and take this and finish it to where this will go all the way down my piece of glass. So that way I've got a really nice piece of art that obviously Leah is now taking home to her house. Very excited. But also you can turn around and you can use it to be able to create 
beautiful stationery like this that you can hand color and you can thin it. You can hand color it with the ceramic paint. You can hand color it with the inks on paper or on the glass because it is going to be a piece of art. So, Leah, thank you so much for coming well, on with me today. Me. And hopefully, um, Trisha, love your question. Could you gold leaf it? The answer is yes. yes. <laughs> totally. Totally. That's my girl after my own heart. Um, being able to say, um, can I gild that? Absolutely you could. So that could like literally be a whole new Facebook Live for us just to be able to go back and show you how you can come in and add some gold leaf. Um, and so, yes, you know, Laura, the answer to your question, can you use ink on a mirror? I was wondering the same thing. Yes, I will tell you a lot of times I like using chalk art on mirrors mm -hmm. because it allows you to be able to change it up all the time. So that way you could have this, put this on a mirror. How encouraging would that be? Yes. And then, but when, um, uh, when Valentine's comes around, you need to be putting um, love scriptures and loves and I love you and put that on your mirrors. When Easter comes around, you can change it. So I love using chalk art on mirrors. And it, yes, it's just wonderful. People come in, it's like, that is so cool. It's just like, well, it's great. You can, then with the chalk art, you can wipe it off and totally change it up with the next holiday. Can't so. go wrong. No. Nope. We do at our house, we do what's called shout outs. And so sometimes, um, Sometimes Jean and I, we, use, we actually use post-it notes, and I have used the chalk art before, but we'll write out all the things that we love about that person. I'll share that. Oh, I'll share closer to you Valentine's. You could do that and then mail it in your new stationery and tell somebody who they are to you. That's right. Send some love that way. That's this right. Year. It's called shout outs. Shout out. All right, guys, have a fantastic Monday. Thanks for tuning in. Mm -hmm. And please share this video um, and tag three friends and your name will go on for a drawing because we're going to be giving this away day after tomorrow. Thank you so much and have a fabulous Monday. Thank you for the love too. Thank you, Leah. You're very welcome.